Imagine a nation where the government drops bombs on its own citizens. Where corporations control armies larger than that of the U.S. government. Where the police, courts, judges, and juries are owned by big business. Where families starve and working people are gunned down if they refuse to labor for slave wages. A secret history of America. A history that those in power don't want you to know. Because it will open your eyes to the truth about freedom and wealth in America. And why the disparity between the 99 and 1% exist today. One of the most important stories in American history has never been told on film. The story of the working people. The struggle between the haves and have-nots. Strength in union. The history of the American labor movement. The struggle for working class men and women to gain union representation is a tale of violent battles, political intrigues, and legal confrontations. It is a story that has shaped our government, defined our economy, and affected the lives of every citizen of the United States, including the Battle of Homestead, the Ludlow Massacre, the Haymarket Riots, the Flint sit-down strikes, and the merging of the AFL-CIO. It is a story of heroes and villains, bankers and barons, haves and have-nots, and the tale of race relations, women's suffrage, and immigrants from around the world coming to these shores in search of freedom and prosperity. It is a history filled with colorful characters and unsung heroes, such as Big Bill Hayward, Mother Jones, Eugene Debs, and John L. Lewis. At the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, a new class of ruling elite emerged. And for the first time, the working people dared to demand a seat at the table, the right to negotiate, with the captains of industry. The story of working men and women is the forgotten history of America. And the story of labor is a struggle that continues today. A struggle that continues to divide our society along political lines. A struggle that is the front line in the clash between the 99 and the 1%. A struggle that will define the fate of the nation. A struggle which inspires hope that the American dream is still alive. Right now we're confronted with a group of billionaires who have decided that they would be better off if there were no labor unions. Corporate class does not want a well-educated workforce in this country because when we're educated, we will make demands. Labor rights under attack, civil rights under attack, voting rights under attack, economic rights under attack, those are all linked. All of those rights are linked. You cannot separate them. Say what's America's biggest challenge? inequality, the right of workers to organize, a fair economic model where uh, everybody can have a shared prosperity. 
We can't have prosperity when the top 2% control 50% of the wealth. You cannot sustain a democracy in that environment. There is nothing else in American capitalism that actually helps create a fair shake for ordinary Americans other than the labor movement. We are at the center of the fight for social and economic justice. I'm Heather Milburn, one of the producers of Strength in Union. We have been working on the film for three years and have interviewed over 120 national labor leaders, distinguished historians, university professors, national politicians, activists, and organizers. Among those who have agreed to participate in the film are United Steelworkers President Leo Gerard, Communication Workers of America President Larry Cohen, American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten, AFSCME President Lee Saunders, former United Auto Workers President Bob King, Amalgamated Transit Workers President Lawrence Henley, AFL-CIO Policy Specialist Daniel Marshall, American Postal Workers Union President Clifford Guffey, Rainbow Coalition President Jesse Jackson, New York City Labor Council President Vincent Alvarez, and U.S. Congressional Leaders Carolyn B. Maloney, Mark Pocan, Gwen Moore, Charles Rangel, and Jan Schakowsky. The film will also feature narration provided by Emmy Award winner and Oscar nominee Barbara Hershey, labor activist and music legend Pete Seeger, and actor Reggie Cathy, known for his work in The House of Guards and The Wire. In order to ensure historical accuracy, we have a distinguished advisory panel that includes historians from top universities such as Georgetown, Columbia, Cornell, and Notre Dame, and representatives from the Cesar Chavez Foundation, the Murphy Institute for Labor Studies, and the Pittsburgh Rivers of Steel Museum. Please donate to Strength in Union.